official unveil of a 2022 TV lineup with Samsung Kenya. Thank you for keeping time. I hope you're enjoying your breakfast. My name is Ivy, better known as just Ivy. I'm going to be your host this morning. I also want to welcome our YouTube audience. We are live on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining. If you have any questions, please remember to drop them in the comment section. Our hashtag today is more with Samsung or Samsung lifestyle, where we're going to be discussing screens everywhere, screens for all, which means accessibility. I, w I want to take you with my favorite master trainer. Devi, what's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You've had food? Yeah. Energy is ready? Good. We can take our current audience. You can hear me. If you can't see me, maybe you can hear me. Follow me while we discuss with our master trainer, David, different products that are here today. Guys, remember, if you have any questions, leave them there uh, in the comment section and we'll be able to answer them. Devi, start with this fantastic product. What am I even looking at? Um, today we have a number of products that we are showcasing. As you can see, we have different products, but I'll start from here. Yeah. This is the premier. Yeah. And it's a 4K laser projector. Mm. And when I say 4K laser projector, I mean that now for the premier, you can now use it in different ways. Mm. For example, you're talking about now boardroom setup. Mm. Now uh, classroom setup. You're mm. talking about hospitality industry. Mm. You can use the 4K laser projector. Remember, it's a smart projector, mm. meaning that you don't need now to start uh, pairing with the other devices. You just go straight to your smart aspect mm. and you can use it. Uh, it has a powerful sound, mm -hmm. as you can see. Yes, mm. it's not a big product. I'm sure you can be able to see it later when they are getting the upcut close shots. Yeah. It's not a big product, but it's a very small product that is portable. Yeah. yeah you can move it to different rooms and in different, different ways. And I like that uh, a lot of our products nowadays are portable. It adds on to yeah. the accessibility that we're talking about yes. in the year 2022. Yes. Now, yeah. that's what you're talking. On top of that, it's one of the first projectors that can be able to project up to 4K resolution. 4K resolution. Meaning that the resolution is so detailed. Of course. That you can enjoy these pictures. Of course. That you're seeing currently. I love it. Industry. Yes. I love it. Yes. Um, now, yeah, um, tell me. Just to show you, uh, yeah. for example, um, this projector, as you can see, is uh, displaying this under retail mode. Mm. This is just a demo where it's a screenshot you can mm. use it, mm. but you can project it in an, in a wall pr projection where mm. you can now do a white wall mm. where you can now project from 90 to uh, 120 inches. Mm. Yes. Beautiful. So this is the same that we are talking about Premier, mm -hmm. and I'll show you other products that you have. So like our TV is, what if my content is not in 4K? I'll, it'll still be able to upscale to 4K? Yes, it has the upscaling feature yeah. where it can be able now to upscale a lower resolution yeah. to a higher resolution. Yeah. For example, most contents that you're getting in, yes, 4K is trying to yeah. be common nowadays, yeah. but now we still have the full HD and the high HD resolution yeah. content. Yeah. So the upscaling feature can be able to do well so that you can enjoy high resolution mm. photos. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. So for our premium people in hospitality, yes. for those sexy offices, <laughs> we're telling them to purchase this for those premium. Boardrooms, for the classroom setups where you have maybe students you want uh, maybe to uh, project. Yeah. Yes, you can do. And you know what I love about it? It's yes. daylight. It's very bright. Yes. But the picture quality, absolutely perfect. Bright yes. as heck. The picture quality is good because uh, the lumens are high. Yeah. We're talking about 220 lumens. 220? Yes. Oh, beautiful. For this one, yeah. I love it. I love it. And on top of that, in case maybe you want to do um, a presentation, for yeah. example, it yeah. has uh, the uh, mirroring options mm. where you can be able to pair with your computer. Mm. It has the Office 365 mm. where you can also now present your files uh, mm. remotely. Mm. You don't need to work with your laptop and everywhere. So mm. this one also comes with the projector presentation. Mode. I love the features. I love bef the benefits. Tell me how much does this beautiful machine cost? Now, um, for this one, the current market value you can get with it is uh, 611,000. Oh, beautiful. Shillings. Yeah. And Only uh, 611,000 yes, Kenya shillings. The features are worth the price, yeah. and also they are locally. The, the product is uh, lo will be locally available in a yeah. week or two times. Yeah. Uh, if you have interest, you can reach out to us, yeah. where you can uh, direct you to the best dealer, where yeah. you can get it at good prices yeah. and also some uh, discounted prices. Oh, I love it. Yes. Let's move to the next uh, product. Now, the next product that I want what to, are you to show, show you me? is um, kind of a lesser model version of it mm. we are talking about the freestyle mm -hmm. the freestyle is a set that you have done here Oof, Sorry yeah about that one so um as you can see the lady is enjoying a very good uh, view of the freestyle i love it and um are you enjoying yourself <laughs> you're watching the freestyle the freestyle you're gonna be part uh, of my youtube video don't worry <laughs> enjoy 
that's what we like here freestyle yes. wherever you are whatever you're doing you can yes. enjoy yourself Karim now, for the experience yeah the freestyle uh, is uh, a bit now smaller yeah. in terms of um, the design yeah we're talking about the portability mm. now this is a freestyle stand that we have created here mm. and this idea and the theme behind mm. here is that now you can go out door mm. now for us you're giving more because mm. samsung is all about more more with giving samsung you more experience yeah in terms of your viewing experience yeah now as you can see the freestyle now can be able to project from a 30 inches mm -hmm. to 100 inches mm. and now the, the the advantage of the freestyle is that now you can be able now to have the option of now viewing your content wherever you are yeah wherever, wherever you, are. you are whenever so you are you have connected to your internet yeah then you can project so it's a smart uh, monitor that yeah. comes in different uh, sizes that you can project yeah and now you can use it in different locations so tell me about the yes. portability because as you said it's a portable home theater how how heavy is it um the weight is so little as in i can say it's uh, less than a kg you wow. can imagine less than a packet so of meaning, uga. yeah meaning yeah. that you can move with it anywhere yeah and uh here is now i have more option in terms of my video. yeah in case i have um to use in different room mm. i can now move it to a different room mm. and the idea of this freestyle is that now in terms of keystone and autofocus mm. you don't need now to concentrate focusing and adjusting the keystone mm. it's a point and play strictly like once you just place it in a flat surface mm. you point and play mm. remember it also comes with a credo stand where you can do a ceiling projection mm -hmm. in case you are mm -hmm. watching your your freestyle in a, mm -hmm. in a in a in a bedroom and you want to enjoy your your, your content mm -hmm. while you're lying on your bed then you can display uh, on a ceiling projection yeah remember it's a full hd in terms yeah. of resolution yeah very good in terms of uh, picture quality yeah and also it comes with a 360 uh sound around yeah because now it can be able to display your sound around in a 360 way yeah. that you can be able to hear it's a kind of um projector that i can use it in any condition of the lighting source okay so long as um the room ambient lighting is uh, natural yeah. then i can be able to display currently you can see the yeah and it's still working yes, and i can also see here. the yes. background that we're using is white i need you to yes. tell people in this room and the audience on youtube whether yes. or not i can project on any color wall or any surface how does it work now for this one yes uh you can project in any background yeah um you may it be gray may it be brown in any uh, beautiful, background beautiful. but of course white will give you better viewing experience yeah. But the, the, the idea is now it can also focus yeah. so that you can be able to sense the background and give yeah. you the best picture quality. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Guys, remember, if you have any questions, our YouTube audience, thank you for being here. Drop them in the comments or you can talk to us on Twitter, on uh, Facebook or on Instagram. You can also tag me at Just Ivy as your host and we'll be able to get your questions answered. I have experienced the freestyle personally and I will say as a mom it completely changed entertainment in my home but I also want David to mention that we are not here to replace TVs TV. are we yes we are not no, here to no, replace no. TVs with a freestyle this is giving you more option in terms of your viewing experience yeah so that at least in case I'm viewing my TV in my living room and yeah. I want to move to another room, then yeah. I can move with the freestyle. Or in case I'm doing outdoor, then I can move with the freestyle yeah. and I enjoy the same content that I'm enjoying yeah. with my TVs. I love it. Let yes. me tell you, watching a thriller movie on a 100-inch screen in your bedroom in the dark, try it. Absolutely amazing. Uh, how much is it? Where can we find it? Now, for the freestyle, is local. It's available in our major dealer shops. Can, can uh, Davies mic uh, the volume be increased, please? On Davy's mic, the roving mic. We're almost done. Uh, Thanks. Now, for the freestyle, it's available in our dealer shops uh, countrywide. You can do your order, and so the pricing is 159,995. Mm. And uh, you, it comes with different accessories, which we'll introduce in the market later. For example, mm. the freestyle case mm. in terms of uh, carrying it around, uh, and also it's uh, dust proof and waterproof. Yes. I love it. But they are locally available, and uh, they are. Um, retailing in our dealer shops and in the countrywide yes. and we can see the yeah. difference in price between this and the premier yes because that is in 4k yeah that's a 4k so this is 159k i love it Devi. ah please <laughs> you know i know you this know is, you know you know you know this is my favorite, favorite tv guys the samsung frame yes. is this tv on the tv is on what and uh, actually most of the people will confuse if it's an art mode yeah is a picture mode yeah or a tv yeah because we have pictures behind there and then we have this you cannot tell the difference <laughs> tell me about the samsung frame now this one is the frame yeah this is the current model that we're having the 2022 new model for the frame what size is this 65 inches 
the size is a 65 inch. I love it. Uh, 65 uh, inch in terms of the screen size. Yeah. And uh, actually what you have done here is a display. Yeah. You have used the studio stand for ah. the display. Ah. And this is the bezels that yeah. are coming as an accessories. Ah, uh, so this comes so separate. This comes it doesn't separate. come with the TV. Yes, with as, as accessories. Ah. They're going to be locally available in our dealer shops. Yeah. So uh, in case you're buying your, your frame TV, yeah. then you can get the customized frame. Uh, yeah. Where you can choose in different ty uh, types of colors. We have white, ah. we have beige, mm. we have brown, and we have black. Oh, you could just buy them all. Up to you. So, yeah, you can decide and figure it out. Yeah. I love it. So, the idea behind the frame is that uh, your TV, when you're watching, yeah. you're at mode when you're not watching a TV. Mm. So, the idea is now, instead of leaving a blank screen mm. in your living room because mm. of... Uh, you, uh, after watching you turn off your mm, TV, mm. once you put it under f uh, frame uh, uh, act, art mode, mm. then it becomes like a actual picture painting. I love it. David, let me stop yeah. you right there because this is a frequently yes. asked question. Yes. Art mode. Yes. Does that mean my TV is on throughout day and night? What is that doing for my electricity bill? That's a good question and uh, many people are so concerned about the energy mm. actually. Mm. And uh, once we say art mode, is when you're not watching your TV, it mm. turns under art mode, meaning that it has sensors. Mm. It can be able to sense the ambient lighting so that it can adjust accordingly. But the most important thing, it has what you call motion sensor. Mm. So when you are not is around the vicinity and mm. it's not sensing the motion, mm. then it goes completely off. Ooh. But once it senses there's a motion, oh. then it comes under art mode. Oh, so wow. in terms of your energy, it's taken care of. Oh, I love you that. You need to uh, worry about that. it. I love that. I love that. It's also one of our slimmest TVs yet completely flat at the back so I, other than putting it on this tripod stand i yes. can hang it on my wall just yes. like the rest of my art now yeah? the idea is is ah. to customize and find it uh, able to be able to mount it yeah like to be a, uh, mounted like a picture frame mm. so it comes with a no gap wall mount that mm. is inclusive into mm. the packaging mm. so that you can mount it well mm. and it has what we call one connect box where it doesn't have to have the loose cable hanging. yeah because i'm not seeing any cables how is that working beautiful for cable management so that you can achieve the ah. art and the picture frame mode yeah. and then it comes to the one connect box yeah um, with the TV yeah and, um, this one now will be able to be actually displayed in your living room or in your places your, your, your work your, your free space yeah like the same as we have displayed the art mode here yeah. yes it comes in two sizes uh -huh. 55 inch okay and 65 inch. okay yes the price uh, for 55 is 189995 only a hundred and eighty nine thousand Kenya shillings for this Beautiful machine and for the, the price 55 inch. For yeah. 65 is uh, 280. 280,000. Yes. Uh, what about the price of the accessories? The accessories, the bezel uh, will come uh, roughly between 14,000 to 15,000. Yeah. Once available, we'll communicate the right price. Yeah. And uh, we'll tell you where you can find them. No. But uh, I love coming it. in soon. Yes. I love it. If yes. you're in the market for a TV, check out the Samsung Frame TV. You can go to samsung.com, read more about it, or as you know. Oh. Sorry. That was quite scary. Okay. I apologize for that. Everyone okay? I think we're good. We can carry on. <laughs> All right. Where are we? The Frame TV. Check it out. Go to Samsung.com. Uh, check, or check, uh, talk check. to me in the comment section or talk to Samsung on across all their social media platforms. If you're buying a TV and you're not buying this one, then you should buy this one. Uh, Tell me now, what I'm looking at right we, here. We are moving now to... Um, premium TVs category. Ooh, ooh. For this year, we have the Neo QLED the 4K. The clarity. Yes. Now, God. the clarity is so detailed uh. and uh, the picture quality is so intense uh. that uh, your viewing experience is more improved. Uh. Yeah. So, the Neo QLED 4K uh, the, is one of the premium is categories. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, Good. Make reason. So uh, here we are talking about now the picture quality of the Neo QLED. Mm. We are using a technology called Quantum Matrix technology mm. for these stunning images. Mm. Actually, it's very rare to find that you can view your TV in a very lighted area like mm. this one because the TV has sensors where it can sense the ambient lighting. Mm. Now you are enjoying your TV in a very lit room because it can be able now to sense different lighting source. Mm. It's the daytime night or late uh, in the morning or in the evening mm. so this one now comes with the specific technology that can be able to enhance this viewing experience mm. so David, what you're saying yes. is um i was talking to josephine of quick Mart earlier where's josephine is she in the crowd yeah. josephine <laughs> was telling me that yes. when guys go by to buy tvs the gentleman will go 
yes. look at it and then the lady will come and make the decision and why i'm mentioning this <laughs> is because david speaks in very technical language basically ladies and gentlemen you don't have to close your curtains yes to watch your tv TVs, yes. speak to me now, sell, sell it to me now, like yeah yes uh, i love it when you're watching your tv during the daytime yeah many, many people will find out to reduce the ambient lighting yeah. maybe by closing their windows yeah their curtains but this one now you can watch under any condition yeah so you don't need this i love that and on top of that uh, it has some uh, features that can enhance viewing experience and also the good sound output yeah we have what you call object tracking sound where yeah. you can track sound across your screen yeah to enjoy the 3d surround sound yeah and also it has what you call now you have introduced to the new models the voice tracking yeah where in case there's dialogue between maybe you're watching a dialogue between two people then yeah. you can be able to track yeah and be able to give you the best uh, audio experience and i've experienced this tv dv i need you to explain yes i'm a mother and yes. my children are quite noisy and yes. we okay we encourage that yes I've noticed that when the room is quiet, the yes. TV volume is a certain way. Yes. When the kids come in and they start being noisy, the TV increases volume on its own. So that what one, is that? Um, that one we call active voice amplifier. It's Ooh. part of the AI technology that mm. we're using in our TV. The mm. processor is so advanced, mm. meaning that it can be able to detect the background noise. Mm. For example, there is uh, blending going on, maybe there's vacuum, yeah. your kids are loud a bit uh, so that you are not concentrating on the sound yeah the tv will adjust the volume automatically ah. so that uh, you can be able to be on the same scene and smart uh, yes. entertainment when now the uh, voice reduces and yeah. then the tv adjusts voice back uh, to the normal you don't need now to start pressing your voice up and voice down when you're so is the tv, TV listening to my conversations uh, it's not exactly, but it gives uh, what you call the AI technology, uh, AI patterns. Yeah, yeah AI patterns. Yeah, I hope yeah. it's not collecting data. <laughs> ah, no, that's no, so no. crazy. All right, yes. what else do you want to tell me about this TV? Because it's at the gaming section. Is this, this what you want to talk about or this yes. one? This one is at the gaming section. Yeah. Now, for this one, we want to give the user an experience yeah. Yeah. between an 8K and a 4K yeah. in terms of gaming. Yeah. And of course, the 8K will be now best in terms of mm. gaming. We have a PS5 here mm. and uh, we are projecting the industrial player TVs. Yeah. And now we are moving to the 8K now category. Ooh, 8K. This is the new QLED 8K. And uh, when it comes to gaming, we are yeah. looking at motions. Yeah. Because gaming is fast. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the motion... Um, uh, the motion accelerator is so advanced. Yeah, so no lagging, uh, that type of thing. Yeah, no lag yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, input lag. Yeah. And also the frame per second processor of your images are so better. So mm. this just basically tells you that you are going to enjoy and concentrate more on your gaming mm. rather than now being distracted by the input lag mm. and the motion mm. uh, frame per second processor. I love that. So uh, basically the 8K, actually we are moving to 8K scenario. Yeah. This PS comes with 8K output. Ah. Now you can enjoy best in terms of uh, your gaming experience in an 8k tv again, because again you see that's yes, the issue yes. we say we have 8k tvs yes. but there's no 8k yes. content we have now, now at least for the gaming yeah, the game. i'm sure many people for the gaming are looking at the best gaming experience yeah and uh well, ps5 provide one of the gaming experience and yeah. samsung tv 8k will provide one of the best platform you can do your gaming yeah because also even the frame per second or the the motion rate is very advanced. Yeah. And also you have a dedicated port which has uh, the input, mm. which has uh, HDMI 2.0 input mm. where you can now get the best uh, display from your gaming mm. console to your TV. I like yes. it. I like that. Um, I like the amount of investment Samsung puts yes. in their research and development to understand that gaming is a billion dollar industry and they need to keep up. Yes. Good. Now, uh, for the 8K, the difference that comes in between a 4K and, a and 8K an 8K is K. about now the resolution. We are talking yeah. about 33 million pixels. Mm. How many millions? Please repeat that. 33 million. 33 million pixels. pixels. Yeah. So Why do I need that, Davy? Honestly, <laughs> this I love just it. To make sure you enjoy the depth of images, because mm. at the end of the day, a good TV can be able to give you better pictures. So images are lifelike. What lifelike. you see with your eyes yes. is ah yes. beautiful. With the quantum dot technology we are using for the QLED technology, yeah. the pictures are so real yeah. that now you can be able to differentiate different color shapes because yeah. you can be able to project up to a billion colors. Yeah. Together with now the quantum matrix technology, the contrast now becomes to life. Yeah. So that you can now see blacks to the black. Oh, I love that. The light to the light. I love yeah. that. Now here is a 75 inch. Well, you yes. didn't tell me how much cost that costs. Um, this one, uh, 65 inch, yeah. the new QLED 4K yeah. is going for 
299,995. Basically, beautiful. 300. That's it's beautiful. more affordable yeah. compared to the range of the TV that yeah. we're giving yeah. uh, for the 4K Neo QLED. Yeah. Now, for the 8K Neo QLED, this mm -hmm. one is readily available in our dealerships. Yeah. And uh, this is a 75 inch. Yeah. Uh, the model is a QN800 yeah. model. Yeah. And uh, also, we have uh, another model of 8K that we have introduced, the QN700B yeah. series. Mm -hmm. This series is the 2022, which I'm sure we are going to discuss more about 2022 lineup mm. in, a, in, a, in the later discussion but now this one goes for 799,995 799 yes. ah. this is a 75 inch in size yangu price yes. yangu yes. i love it yes so in terms of screen size is a 75 inch beautiful and also as you can see we have displayed some sound, sound is this a new system. sound bar yes ah sound bar now comes in different um uh, options. Yeah. Now, for example, this is a premium soundbar. Yeah. The QN, uh, yeah. the Q series 800 soundbar, and uh, it's a new model. Mm. Yes, with new features. Uh, we're here to yes. unveil new models. Yes. That's yes. what's up. And uh, one thing that I can say that Samsung has improved in yeah. terms of also sound aspect is yeah. what we call Dolby Atmos. Mm. Now, Dolby Atmos is, is the new thing, actually, mm -hmm. in terms of sound. Haven't we always been using Dolby Atmos? We or now been, we... Uh, yeah, we have been using Dolby Atmos, yeah. but now what we have introduced more is the wireless Dolby Atmos. Ah, please, break we that are, down for we me. Are, we are now into the wireless uh, era mm. where people don't uh, want a lot of cable uh, connection to your TV. Mm. Now, if I'm connected my TV to my soundbar, Mm. And uh, the soundbar comes with the Dolby Atmos feature. Mm. The TV comes with the Dolby Atmos feature. Mm. If I'm connected to, to the soundbar and the TV mm. and I've connected them to the Wi-Fi system, mm -hmm. then it can be able to detect and now pick automatically the Dolby Atmos wireless. I device. love that. When you're enjoying your movie, which is under Dolby Atmos feature, then it comes to life. I love yes, that. So that's a new improvement that we are done. Excellent accessibility. Screens everywhere, we are screens the first for all. To do the Dolby Atmos wireless. We are the first. Yes. We always are the first with these things. <laughs> I love it. Um, yes. uh, Devi, that remote, please pick that up for me because it looks very interesting from the back. Yes. Please explain what we are doing with this remote right now and why does it look so, so curious? Um, first of all, this is a Bluetooth remote, yeah. meaning that it's using the Bluetooth technology, yeah. not an infrared technology. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, Samsung is going green, meaning that now we are not using batteries. No remotes. more batteries in remotes. Yes. No more biting remotes, no more yes. getting cyanide yes. in your mouths. Now, no risk for children. No risk for children. I love that. Can so I see this? Uh, yes. Yeah. You can uh, have a look at it. Now, what it comes in is a solar charge uh, uh, remote, meaning yeah. that uh, in any lighting condition, you can be able now to charge it. Right now, in this room, yes. or in this atmosphere, yes. this remote control is charging. It's charging. And on top of that, what we have also added in the 2022 um, remote uh, is that it can be able to have what you call RF signals. Mm -hmm. RF signals is the signal that can be provided from your routers and mm. any other appliances in your house mm. that can be able to harvest the energy and recharge it. Damn! Yes. So Damn. in any lighting condition or anywhere there's any RF signal that is coming in, then the remote can be able to charge it. Yeah, so, yeah. Yes. And you know, we've been joined by people today. Samsung is bringing a whole new look to remote working. Yes. Anyone get that? No? Okay, fine. We'll move on. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Devi, yes. let's move to this beauty. Yes. Goodness gracious. Now this Goodness is a me. showcase. This is a showstopper here. Now. Ah. This is an 85 inch Neo QLED 8K. Ah, man. This is one of the premium models that we are having at Samsung, the QA900B series. You even have a kick in your step. You like this yes. one? This is the your favorite. Key, this is one of your favorite ah, TVs. Man. You can look at it. It's 99% body to screen ratio. Meaning that you break picture that from down end to end. You're watching ah, your picture from end infinity. to end. Infinity. Look infinity at this. Infinity design. Yes. Oh man, that's so aesthetically pleasing. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, the sound also of this TV is very nice yeah. because it has a um, better sound system. Yeah. It has subwoofers. It has four speakers up to up to six speakers. Up to six speakers. Up to six speakers. Despite other TVs that have how many? Yeah. Like now when it comes to the 8K, the 800 model, it has up to four speakers. Mm. These are six speakers. This mm. one is important because when it comes to OTS, mm. now you can be able to feel. Mm. You can be able now to get into the 3D surround mm. sound because now the sound can be tracked across the screen. Oh, man. Yes. Man. So this one one of the showcase that we are doing that uh, the premium TVs yeah. for the 8K uh, technology. Beautiful. Yes. Now, um, we have displayed with a premium soundbar. Yeah. Yes. Here is a premium soundbar. I the like the Q design of this soundbar as well. 990B. Yeah. Yes. 
and uh, this premium soundbar comes with the other aspect of sound aspect. Yeah. We're talking about the space fit. Yeah. Space fit uh, um, in terms of sound aspect is that it can be able to sense the distance from your TV yeah. and your walls so that you can display sound according Again, to Again, I ask, are you sure these TVs don't listen to our conversations? <laughs> no, it this doesn't so crazy. listen. It's it beautiful. doesn't listen to your conversation. It's only that you're using the AI technology. Oh, where it can be able to monitor and give you the actual display and TV quality. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, the design is infinity design. Yeah. And uh, just apart from this one, it has what you call one connect box. Yeah. The slim one. Yeah. Once I remove this soundbar, I think you can't really able to see any cable because the one connect can be able to be attached to the stand. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's also mountable. You can be able also to purchase um, the, 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 the come with a different uh, set of mounting. Yeah. Where you can do the slim mounting in case you want to achieve uh, your slim mounting. This is uh, beautiful. Yes, yes. Shock me. Shock my pocket. Shock um, me nicely. Motivate me. Apparently, this is one of the premium models. We are not uh, having it locally in uh, stores because it's an 85, but you can do a pre order. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, price average between 1.2 to 1.4 million. I love it. Guys, 1.2 to 1.4 million. You see, there's no money in Kenya. The money is not in your pockets, huh? Yeah. Buy, people are buying TVs yes, worth 1.4 yes, million. Yes. Actually, what you are giving the client and the consumer yeah. is what the amount to it is value be. for money yes, and so people who value their entertainment yes. and their smart yes. entertainment yes. david thank you so much that was our 22 tv lineup Nine hope you enjoyed yourself yes. i want yes. david to take us through our home appliances very very quickly before we move on to the panel session of the event i hope you guys have enjoyed your breakfast <laughs> some housekeeping before you go into home appliances if you want to use the bathroom the gents is this way the ladies is that way if you want to smoke maybe you shouldn't but you can smoke outside because it's harmful to your health david what am i looking at what how is this a fridge <laughs> how so uh, from the name bespoke yeah. bespoke yes i love it and i'm sure you have interacted with this one uh, uh <laughs> guys i'm a proud owner of a bespoke fridge uh, samsung decided to give me yes. uh this fridge yes. and i love it it yes. literally is the heart of my kitchen basically um it's a whole new idea yeah uh, in terms of refrigeration system yeah uh, as you can see, these are two models, mm. but now the idea is the customizing mm. where you can combine. Mm -hmm. It comes like an upright freezer mm -hmm. where you can also have different models. Mm. Yes, and um, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, um, you have an upright freezer, yeah, as a whole, yeah, and then you have a bottom mount freezer. Mm. But now the idea is to combine and have now a customized uh, setup mm. that you can do. Remember. Uh, the bespoke, mm -hmm. as you can see, the design is a customized design. Mm. You are not seeing the panel nope. for controlling temperature, no. meaning that it has hidden panels so that you achieve this customized design. Yeah. And at the same time, we have different colors yeah. that you can combine with. Yeah. This is glam navy, glam white, mm. and also we have uh, glam pink mm -hmm. uh, mm. that are locally available. For my guys uh, on YouTube, yes, make yes. sure you see this. Yeah. The glam pink. Yeah. And ideally, yeah. Is now I can create my fridge design the way I want. Yeah. Remember these two, once I combine them, I get up to 600 and 60, 600 and uh, around 640 liters. So if I'm a mom with four children that yes. play rugby yes. Yes. at the same time, <laughs> that means all my food can fit in here. Can we open yes. the fridge for guys on YouTube yes. to see? You, you can open. Yeah, and let's see uh, the space here. When you say 620 liters, it might not click in your mind what it exactly you're doing. See. Ah, yes. look at yes. that. Remember, as I said, uh, this comes like an upright freezer. Yeah. But for that person who is looking a big space yeah. for fridge, yeah. you can convert this one to be a fridge. Mm. Meaning that I'm that person who is looking for a big fridge mm. space, then I can convert this one to be a fridge. I love space. that. I love that. It has a customized uh, design yeah. where you can convert it. Yeah. And also in case I'm purchasing this two fridge yeah. and I want to customize to change the door, I yeah. can be able now to change the door mm. so that they can open like a side by side mm. refrigerator like we are doing now. Mm, I like so that. So that's what we can say customization yeah. that you can be able to fit your kitchen space and i can customize it myself in my home i have to call dv or the samsung office and even uh, if i do there's no problem yeah, so 800 545 545 one of our premium models yeah. so it uh, qualifies for what we call a signature service uh, so oh, in terms excuse me signature service yes damn tell me actually we forgot to mention all our premium service uh, products qualify for signature service yeah. meaning that uh, delivery 
that's transportation, yeah. installation, yeah. and product training yeah. is for free. Of course. Because yes. I'm spending one million bob on a TV. <laughs> you better give me so some signature this, service. This spoke in case now you want to be customized. The door wants to. You want to move the door to the other side. Yeah. Or even add system. handles. I know we can yes. get separate handles. Yeah, yeah. If I want to change yes. the panel colors, yeah, the you panel guys will be able to sort that for me. The panel colors will be available later. They okay. To change. You yeah. They can be able to change it later. How much does this cost me? Now for the upright freezer, uh, for the bespoke is hundred and eighty thousand. Okay. Uh, for the bottom mount, we call it bottom mount because the freezer is on the bottom side. Yeah. It's uh, retailing at uh, RRP of 175. Okay, I yes. love it. And it's a fridge yes. for a very unique, yes. very particular type of person. Yes. So and you can even customize your kitchen in, in essence. In our dinner shops. Yeah. Uh, countrywide. Yeah. You, are, you can make your orders. Yeah. And uh, also you can visit and purchase. I like it. And anyone here wants to purchase by the way, Samsung Tech shop is open right there. You can buy the fridge yourself. Tell me. <laughs> about this washing machine my now, friend we are on the washing machine category yeah. remember the washing machine category we are um the category for washers and uh washer dryers is growing mm. nowadays people want uh convenience mm. actually i'm talking about mm -hmm. convenience mm -hmm. and uh, still we also have an interaction with this machine mm. we are lucky that Samsung um, introduced you to this product and you're enjoying them and uh, this is one of the washing machines that we're having as one of our lineup, premium yeah. washing machine. Yeah. Big capacity, 21 stroke 12, meaning that is a washer dryer combined, it's a combo. Mm -hmm. And uh, the showstop of this one, or the showcase, is the AI control. Tell me about AI control, for those of us who may not know. Now, the AI control is the idea where now I have an application, yeah. which is called the SmartThings application. Yeah. I can now be able to link this machine yeah. to my application mm -hmm. over the phone mm -hmm. and now I can be able to get more mm -hmm. in terms of now uh, laundry recipe. Mm -hmm. By laundry recipe means that now it comes with different options where I can now choose to wash my clothes under different categories. I love it. Basically what Devi is saying is this washing machine can ask you <laughs> if, your, if your laundry is very heavily soiled, if you're washing jeans, yes. if you're washing colored clothes, colored clothes yes. yeah. lingerie, yes. and then it will be able to customize its settings. And give you the best washing program. Come on. You can imagine, you don't have that hassle of thinking now, what yeah. program do I need to use? Yeah. It automatically, it gives you now the laundry recipe. Yeah. Have, so long as you are given it the fabric yeah. and uh, the amount of um, uh, soil level yeah. and uh, maybe any other aspects, then it can customize and give you the I best. I love that. And David also course, mentioned yes. if, um, if I'm in the office and the washing machine is on in my home, yes. I can control it? Now, basically, uh, with the SmartThings application, once you have connected your machine and your phone, it means that now I can control programs. Mm. I can choose my programs, mm. I can get my laundry recipe. Mm. But now, when you want to physically start it on the power it on, mm. then you can just power it on physically mm. and start it on. Mm. But now, choosing everything, you can choose over the phone. Beautiful. You have now an option where you can control your machine over yeah. the phone. Yeah. And on the same thing now with the AI, which we have talked about in our TVs, yeah. that also this one monitors your energy levels. Yeah and gives you the real time in terms of now how many um, uh, energy levels have you used uh, in different washing yeah. cycles. It also gives you a customized calls uh, monitoring. Yeah. For example, now what uh, program am I frequently using yeah. and all those ah, that make it easier for you. in terms of uh, maybe you want to clean your drums, it yeah. just talks on how many la cycles you have done so yeah. they can give you an alert. Beautiful. And also it uh, gives you the best uh, in terms of washing uh, cycles through the application. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. So this is a pretty large one. I know they range yes. in size yeah, and in price. Have, so yeah. tell me how that works so that we can, um, um, our time is running out for this. Uh, for a range of uh, these machines, yeah. with the AI control, yeah. we have from 8 kg yeah. up to the biggest one, which is 21 to yeah. 12. Yeah. And uh, we also have uh, uh, even level uh, entry level machines. Yeah. You can find them uh, in uh, our brand shop. Yeah. So you can interact with them. Yeah. Pricing average between um, uh, 60,000 to this one retails around uh, 200. And For 60K, I can get yes. an AI powered machine, washing machine. For the AI, Price average from around 75. For okay, the but that's not bad at all. Yes. I think that's actually yes, quite beautiful. AI, but now we have different range of machines. Yeah. From the front load to the top load. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. we, are, we are showcasing the premium one, but in case you're walking into our brand shop, yeah. you can get variety yeah. of different prices yeah. that we are doing. Currently, we are doing an offer in washing machine. Mm. So there are some price cuts mm. and also some bundle up mm. where you can uh, be able to get uh, some good discount and mm. also bundle up by bundling up say now you can get now 
uh, washing detergents mm. for free. Okay. Yes, during this period. Beautiful. Even at this branch shop right here. Yes. I love that. Available. They are yeah. adding currently. Yeah. And make sure, in case you are looking for a machine, go in there, grab yeah. your machine, get your offer, get your bundle up, and yeah. then free delivery, free installation. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if. Thank you so much for that, Davy. If you want to find out more about the microwave, reach out to Davy later because I know my time is running out and we have to move to the panel session. I hope you are paying attention because I have giveaways for that entire conversation and I'm going to be able to ask that question later. Yes. Davy, yes. ah, thank you, man. <laughs> You're so good at your job. Thank you, sir. I really love interacting with you. You have such a good passion for what it is that you do okay. and you've sold these machines beautifully. All right. Can we yeah. take a break before we can uh, get ready for the panel session? All right. DJ with our TV these days, which means we're using our remote controls more than ever. But while enjoying the convenience of your remote, wouldn't it be great to help the environment too? Samsung TV's solar cell remote control uses a solar cell panel, so it can be used almost indefinitely without the need for disposable batteries. This will effectively eliminate the use of 99 million AAA batteries over the next seven years. Ready to give it a try? Just follow along. First, let's take a look at how to charge solar cell remote. It's really easy. Just leave the back of the remote facing up. Then through the solar panel on the back of the remote, it will charge with sunlight or even with the lights in your home. If there's not enough light, you can also charge with USB-C. Just connect a cable to the blue part at the bottom of the remote. When you plug it in, a red light will turn on to let you know it's charging. Pairing the remote with your TV is just as easy. Just point the remote at the TV and press the power button like normal to turn it on. Then press any button on the remote and it will pair automatically. If you're having trouble pairing, press and hold the return and play pause buttons together for at least 3 seconds to pair manually. Once you're done with charging and pairing, you can control all your soundbar, setup box and compatible connected devices with this single smart remote from Samsung. Now you can enjoy a more eco-friendly lifestyle. Solar Cell Remote brings you convenience while helping the environment. In darkness, keep your light on for the shadows they move. in 
session i want to call in some very important people to give us a two minute elevator pitch are you ready because you know we don't have time a two minute elevator pitch um on home appliances and tv and basically the future as it stands for samsung can i welcome mr emmanuel and mr eric come to the stage guys a round of applause for guys you guys have eaten you have energy let's welcome them please come through Guys, I won't even sit. Just take us through the future um, of these appliances for Samsung. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ivy. Of course. Right. Um, my name is Eric Otieno. I'm the product manager for Home Appliance at Samsung. Uh, so primarily, as mentioned by a very able uh, David, in terms of um, the Home Appliance, this book is one of our main futuristic product. And the plan is around how we'll be able to continue customizing the lifestyle of our customers. And what we're looking at is not only these two lineup, but introduce them in other categories and other sizes with many color variations. Um, in the next coming month or so, we should be able to give our customers up to around eight to ten color variations that they should be able to um, ensure that uh, they change any color based on their themes. Uh, in terms of a washing machine, one of the main critical areas that uh, you've realized is Samsung is always futuristic. Our technological advancement has led to us being able to ensure that our products communicate to each other, be it the phone, be it the washing machine, refrigerators, and uh, the television. So the future is basically to see on how we are able to collaborate and ensure that the customer is able to enjoy value a proposition in terms of how these uh, products communicate within your home and make your lifestyle be very very simple Good. as you engage uh, within the home so uh, stay tuned look for it and uh, Samsung as always will be the market leader as we look forward to ensuring that we give you best value for money. Beautiful, thank you very much. Beautiful, Eric. Thank you for that. Emmanuel, what do you have to tell us? And tell the audience. Eric was really yes. looking at me. Were you nervous? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> tell everybody. Yeah. Good, afternoon, Good afternoon. afternoon to our esteemed customers and our partners. My name is Emmanuel Njeru. So I'm the key account manager in charge of uh, TV and uh, AV. That is the uh, audio issue. So we actually uh, glad to join you as we celebrate uh, our new lineup, 2022 lineup. Uh, as you can see, actually, you've been seeing about uh, 16 years global number one. So what that means is that uh, we are actually global number one for the last 16 years. So it is not coming easy, uh, a lot of work in terms of improving uh, the user experience uh, for our customers. Uh, the new lineup is coming uh, as an advancement to what we had uh, in terms of uh, 2021. Uh, I think uh, most of the highlights have been highlighted by David. Uh, and key, we actually uh, in conjunction with the global uh, requirements in terms of uh, going green. And uh, one thing that is very key is in terms of our remote. 
So our remote is actually a solar cell and uh, you uh, currently you don't even have now to charge uh, your remote using batteries or even uh, connecting uh, to electricity so you can actually charge uh, through natural light and uh, due to the radioactive now our new solar cell remote is improved and uh, you can actually be able to charge our remote uh, at night so we are looking at a better uh, experience and uh, we also have uh, improving in terms of our screens everywhere now looking at uh, freestyle which is our very very important product we ensure that uh, you can be able now to experience our product you can be able to watch uh, anywhere you go even in outdoor events and uh, again in our frame model we are improving in terms of the lifestyle of our customers now we can be able to blend uh, with the design of your house we are bringing in uh, some new bezels that uh, can be easily customized we'll be having white that will easily be able to blend uh, with the theme of uh, your house brown so you can we have around four colors that you can be able to pick in addition to that uh, we understand that uh, uh, they have uh, with the design of our screens which are very slim and very slick we also have a very very important uh, product that uh, we are bringing in the market we are calling it the slim fit uh, wall mount so these are no gap wall mount that can easily be able to bring uh, the ambience into your house so uh, watch out for more advancements uh, through samsung tv and uh, we are going to ensure that uh, the user experience is improved and we'll be having uh, screens everywhere you go thank you beautiful thank you guys thank you so much thank you a round of applause guys what's happening eh? i know speaking to dealers sometimes distributors you guys sometimes can be a very tough audience um before i introduce our panelists i want to acknowledge a few people in the room mr lee hi good morning hi. how are you welcome mr lee is the md of samsung electronics east africa a round of applause for mr lee thank you for making time to come here today mr elekem how are you hi. mr elekem is the business manager of consumer electronics samsung east africa can we give him a round of applause please um i want to acknowledge a few uh, key dealers and distributors um, is Mr. Priyesh and Mr. Piyush Patel here from Samsung Tech. Are they here? Good. How are you guys? You guys are always coming for events and I really thank you for making time. It means this is very important because it's important to us as well. We also have um, Mr. Dennis Makori from Naivas, Mr. Charles Kavusi from Game Discount World. Do we have them here? Good. Can we over to you? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Mr. Babu from Ayasin, Mr. Anjanish from Cute Kitchen. Uh, we also have Mr. Musdaf from Tabarak Electronics. We have Ezon here and we have Quickmart. Josephine, where is Josephine? We have Quickmart here. And finally, we have Brandcut. If you don't know what Brandcut is, it's actually our official website. Where is Brandcut? Are they here? That's our official website if you want to purchase our Samsung products. And we also have a few uh, members of the audience that pre-ordered the Freestyle. Early adopters of the Freestyle, I want to say welcome and thank you for being here. Our first panelist, today we're discussing screens everywhere, screens for all. Samsung has innovated beautiful TV screens as inspired by you, the audience. Our first panelist, Mr. Nixon, is an award-winning tech journalist and tech blogger. He also runs his own digital media agency. Uh, tech Trends KE, which he runs, was uh, awarded in 2019 Best Tech Publication in Kenya by the Bloggers Association of Kenya. Uh, Nixon Kanali, where are you? Karibu Kitty, welcome. Guys, a round of applause for our first panelist, Mr. Nixon. Oh, you can sit here. This is... This is the high chair is mine, because uh, I'm, I'm running the show today, so that's good. Thank you, Nixon. Our next panelist... Mr. Dixon Otieno. Dixon founded Techish in 2014. It is currently one of the top red technology news and review sites in the region. You can find him across all social media sites. He writes his opinion on tech news, gadget reviews, and startup news. Dixon, my sound guys, what's up? Is it me? Is it this? What do we do? We came to unveil new TVs, but if everyone leaves deaf, what are we going to do? Huh? Who's going to watch it? I switch it off? All right. Mr. Dixon, welcome. Last but not least, Mr. Sam Odiambo, one of my favorite people from Samsung. Uh, Sam was instrumental in the digital migration of Samsung or TVs. He made sure that Samsung was number one approved digital TV in Kenya in the year 2014. All right, gentlemen, let us just move straight 
into it because our audience is standing and I'm sure they want to go. Time is money. Um, I think I'm going to ask, this question is going to be directed at all my panelists. Um, I want to start with Sam. Sam, how is business, especially with the current economy? You guys know the economy has been a bit uh, hard on us. Yeah? They'll use this one, yeah? The economy has been a bit hard on us, Sam. Just tell us how business is. Let's just start with a check-in. You know, you might be here for a panel session and you're suffering. Yeah. There are no sales. How is business, Sam? Tell me. Thank you. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you, everyone, for making time for this. Uh, I know we are living in difficult times. Yeah. Uh, largely or not fully yet out of the pandemic. Uh, but I think I must say at Samsung, we, we are glad that we are trying our best to offer our customers real value for money so despite the challenging times i know each and every customer out there is very conscious about the decision they need to make mm. uh, in terms of getting a product that will not require them to spend uh, in the short run so mm. because we offer quality we are confident our product may not need another attention after purchase mm. uh, we are seeing them really going for that value for money i love that yeah. so more with samsung we are offering more value exactly yeah, yeah. um maybe i can direct it back to dixon because you also have an eye from the outside um can you tell me what consumer trends you've noticed in terms of purchasing especially uh tv and home appliances based on what it is that you report i i don't think uh these are consumer trends per se but i will say uh there's a big interest in uh larger screen TVs, mm. uh, yeah, everyone is sort of looking to upgrade from a 32 inch or a 43 inch to a 55 or a 50 inch. So that's a trend I'm seeing and I'm excited to see uh, new devices from Samsung today. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. Uh, Dixon, do you have anything to add to that? Nixon, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, sure. I think uh, one of the things also we've seen is actually when it comes to the displays, I think consumers are looking to buy, you know, 4K TVs and above, mm. you know, and I think is that's why okay, we are here to see really what Samsung really has mm. to offer, you know, uh, for this launch. So basically, we are right on the money. Samsung, the research they did is right on the money in terms of unveiling these TVs today. Yes, yes. Do you guys know uh, Samsung, you know, uh, one of the biggest TVs years back was a 30-inch TV, and it was created by Samsung. And that year, Samsung sold around, I think, 1 million TVs around in the 70s. Very, very beautiful. Um, back to um, Mr. Let me go back to Nixon, yeah? Nixon, I think you've um, engaged and interacted with some of the TVs here. So based on what it is that you know consumers are looking to buy and what it is that you personally like, what was your favorite? My favorite has to be uh, this one, uh, the new QLED 8K, mm. because I'm a huge fan of uh, huge displays, mm. so they really interest me. So I think it was one of my favorite that I've seen here. Mm. That if I had the money, actually work with this right now. You if know, you today. had the money, uh, yeah, yes. 1.2 million. <laughs> yeah. Work hard, work hard. The world yeah. is watching. Uh, yeah. I'm Dixon, gonna what about talk yourself? to some nice. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Which, which, maybe not your favorite, but which one intrigued you most, and which one do you think maybe Kenyans are ready for? Yeah. I think uh, based on price, the crystal uh, lineup is what most Kenyans will be looking forward mm. to getting. Yeah. Mm. The crystal lineup as opposed yeah. to QLED. Why the is QLED that? QLED is really good to look at, yeah. uh, but 1.2 million. Mm. Uh, but you know, yeah. that's just the 85 inch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so are you trying to say that Kenyans are on a pesa? What are you trying to say about my audience here? Are you saying. When you are on a pesa, what to me? What to me? I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Um, Sam. Let's talk about particular differences between the 2021 and the 2022 models. You know, this is not like a mobile phone where you can just upgrade at any time. Even the amount of time that it takes to make the purchase decision to upgrade your TV and spend 300K and above or 200K and above. What exactly am I looking for in terms of the difference between 2021 and 2022 models of the new QLED? Uh, okay, so I think for, for consumer electronics uh, as a whole, uh, Samsung... Uh, tries as much as possible to make advancements every other year. Uh, and as you must have had to stay at the top for 16 years, obviously means that you're not basically giving the same product every other year. Mm. So uh, continually Samsung is in the business of uh, listening out to mm. what the customer is looking for mm. and trying to make improvements on that. Mm. So across board from the visual display to the home appliances category, uh, there are uh, annual improvements that we make. Mm. And this year is no different. So 2022 versus 2021. If I will start from the home appliances. Uh
us through this. Uh, so the artificial intelligence uh, bit that we improved on from the washing machine, for example, is a key ingredient to what Samsung is trying to do to achieve convergence, not just with the actual unit that a uh, customer buys, but the ability of that unit to communicate with other devices. So the AI, uh, the smart things uh, improvement on the home appliances category is one other feature that we are very proud of at Samsung to uh, let our customers and audience know that this is available and is made with uh, particular attention to what interests them and what the times are. Uh, on, the, on the cooling category, refrigerator, Eric David again talked heavily about this. Uh, we are making gradual improvements. So uh, bespoke is essentially designed to fit your needs. So your color themes for your kitchen, for example, uh, is a bit that we are really proud of. Uh, we are going ahead to make those color variations in, uh, in many, many options available. So we are talking about 8 to 10 different panel colors. So we are hard at work uh, locally to ensure that our customer in Kenya in the region is able to access such facilities and, uh, and features for a new refrigerator category for 2022 uh, lineup. Uh, of course, on the TV, uh, I think uh, we are continually working hard to improve the color. We are continually working hard to improve the design. Uh, these are key features. So for the premium Neo QLED 8K, uh, the infinity screen is something that we are really proud of. We, we want the viewer to, to, to actually watch the, the, the content, right? You should not really be mindful about what is happening in the background. That's why Samsung is really doing as much as possible away with the bezel so that we stick to the screen. And that's where the infinity screen comes from. Of course, there are improvements around technology, the eco-friendliness. Uh, the world is going green. This is really key. And uh, the background to this is why we have the solar cell remote. So that you really don't have to... We, we are doing our part. And Samsung has done this for close to three decades now uh, to ensure that our products are eco-friendly and mindful of the environment in addition to really what the user intends to benefit from. So technology design is really key for us. Uh, and I think on the color, uh, on the color quality, the color picture, uh, you must have heard of the Pantone uh, uh, accreditation. So uh, the Pantone basically is the global authority on colors. So Samsung is the first certified uh, uh, TV to, to actually go through that. So it uh, obviously communicates to the fact that in 2022, we are ensuring that what the producer intends for the picture or for the video is what you end up watching on the Samsung TV. And that is really the reasoning behind our QLED uh, 8K lineup and of course even the Crystal, Crystal UHD uh, lineup category. So these are just some but uh, of the areas that we are trying to make improvements going into, into this year. Of course, lastly, is to ensure that the range is there. Uh, we are concerned and uh, mindful of the fact that not everybody will have the same spending power. So we are providing the entire range, right, from 32 inch all the way to 85 inch, even beyond, based on uh, individual discussions. If you think the 85 we have is too small for you, we can always discuss that locally with our partners to provide it. a range of TVs from 32 inch to um, the 85 inch. Um, the trend currently in Kenya is uh, credit. A lot of, there's a lot of credit facilities that are available. We've seen that with mobile. How about consumer electronics? If Nixon here is keen to buy the 1.4 uh, MTV, are there credit facilities available? Have you guys partnered with anybody to allow someone to leap a pole pole per se to be able to afford these uh, um, products? Yes, correct. So, uh, of course, our local operation here, Samsung, does not allow us to sell directly to the individual consumers. But our partners, Samsutech, of course, are the lead, along with our other channel partners, have, uh, have engaged with uh, credit facilities. We are all aware of the Lipa Leta, Lipa Pole Pole schemes uh, that are largely available uh, within our channel structures. So these options are, yes, available to our consumers. You walk to any of our uh, 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 authorized retail uh, networks across the country, the customer should be able to uh, find a flexible way to negotiate for the top end uh, TV or home appliance product that I'm interested in and pay gradually mm. so that they eventually actually take ownership of that mm. product. Mm. So this is, this is yes, this is available. Okay, I want to go back to something that you said and I want Nixon to answer this. You said our, we're going green, our TVs are eco-friendly and by the way, within this panel session I have questions for the audience members to allow you to win some stuff, um, some merchandise from Samsung. 
uh, Nixon, um, eco-friendly TVs. Is Africa there yet? Is Kenya there yet? Um, is that a problem that you think uh, Samsung addressing is, you know, is it timely? Yeah, it's not a tiny problem. It's actually a really big problem that actually Africa has been facing, you know, from, and not just even for TVs. Mm. We've seen even, you know, uh, some companies you know, unveiling phones with, with you know, eco-friendly cases and mm. all that. So it's a big problem that needs to be addressed. Mm. And that's why, you know, I like the Samsung actually going that way as well with their TVs mm. to ensure as much as, you know, we are, you know, producing good products, good TVs, you know, with amazing features, mm. again, how again are we going to protect the environment, you mm. know? Because, again, the consumer looks at so many things. The consumers will actually buy a product based on that eco-friendly feature, you mm. know? So it's quite interesting to see actually Samsung going that way as well with this new lineup. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, good, I agree. Um, because sometimes, you know, we solve problems in the boardroom and we don't know what's happening on ground. But as yeah. we've said, screens, every screens for all means, Samsung has listened to the consumer globally and is bringing this back home to Africa. Um, Dixon. Let's talk about connect connectivity. I like how you mentioned the Crystal UHD TV. I think you're very in tune with um, the Watus. You know, we're not here to um, seem above um, some certain people. Connectivity, how important is it for um, people buying TVs to have a connection? And if not, do you think Samsung is able to provide uh, proper entertainment for people without connectivity? And how is connectivity in Kenya currently? Uh, for example, right now, uh, if I switch on any TV and I want to watch a local channel, uh, most of the local channels will be broadcasting in 480 maximum. And that's a 4K TV, that's an 8K TV. Uh, Samsung is talking about uh, upscaling content, so that's a good thing. I, will, I, I haven't uh, tested that out personally, but that sounds like a good thing, so that my SD content can be watched in 4K, can be watched in uh, ultra uh, 8K is Ultra HD, yeah, or 4K is Ultra HD, yeah. Mm. So the upscaling bit is good, but most uh, entertainment right now is online. Uh, if I'm getting a TV for 8K or 4K, uh, my internet speeds needs needs to be able to stream uh, 4K content. They need uh, the internet speeds need to be able to stream 8K. Otherwise, why would I get an 8K TV if I can't stream in 8K? Mm. So I personally want to see. Uh, that's not on Samsung, uh, to be honest. That's on telcos. That's on internet providers. Mm. But I will want to know what Samsung is doing to ensure we achieve such a possibility where mm. I connect my TV, go on a streaming platform, and I can watch the best of quality. Mm. What of people living in remote areas? Not mm. necessarily remote. They're just places where you don't have uh, the fixed home connectivity. Mm. So what of such people? The upscaling bit is good, but what of... Uh, as someone who doesn't have fast connection, how do you best use your TV, its full quality and full capabilities, without the internet part? Yeah, that's a beautiful question. Yeah. Um, you had something else to say? Uh, on the eco-friendliness, yeah, uh, sure. yeah. On the eco-friendliness, I also want to hear a little more. Uh, is it the material that has been used? Is it in terms of power consumption that the TV is more eco-friendly? Yeah. I think you've come to the right place, Sam. Please answer his very beautiful questions. What is Samsung doing on those accounts? Okay. Uh, so I think maybe I'll start with the eco-friendly part. So uh, as, uh, as early as I think 92, that's like about 30 years ago, uh, Samsung signed off to the, the green idea of actually ensuring that the environment is protected. Mm. Uh, and to demonstrate this over the years, Samsung has continued to make available products mm. that are friendlier to the environment. Mm. Uh, locally, I will tell you as a Kenya office, uh, not uh, long ago during the World Environmental Day, mm. uh, Samsung partnered with UNEP mm. uh, to actually drive this message home. Uh, so we were at Mutaiga Golf Club and basically the theme around the day was to ensure that environment is protected. We don't have any other place we are headed to. Mm. This is our only earth. Uh, the truth of the matter is uh, at Samsung to support the green uh, uh, philosophy. Uh, our packaging mm. uh, is, is, is basically towards this. Uh, the product uh, packaging, it may look like just your usual box, but if it's some material that uh, is eventually going to be just disposed and uh, end up uh, harming our environment, then it doesn't work right. So Samsung is doing something on that. On the actual product, uh, just an example of the TV. We've talked about it, the, the solar cell remote technology. So the, the, the usual dry cell batteries are quite harmful, really, to the environment. So Samsung has made improvements of that. We are doing away with it. Uh, uh, it will also interest you to know that globally, and in Kenya as well, uh, we've partnered with uh, 
uh, with companies that are specialized in uh, disposing uh, used uh, electronic devices. So uh, through our service uh, uh, department in Kenya, there is a, uh, there is a company called uh, WEEE uh, uh, that actually uh, uh, does this work. So if, for example, you bring in a product to our service center, uh, uh, which uh, cannot be repaired for one reason or the other, it's outlived its uh, usefulness, uh, or we still encourage if you are home and you think you have a technology or an item that is really no longer useful, you want to replace it, we recommend that you bring it to us, to our service centers. We'll take it up and dispose it in the right way possible because we have licensed people to actually take care of this. This is not just Kenya, but also across the region. So we are definitely doing the much we can uh, to ensure we protect our environment. Uh, our research and development teams uh, back in headquarters are very cognizant of this and the design of our products is basically to ensure that we use as less energy as possible and that also in, informs the bit of our, our, our lifestyle products. So the frame TV for example, if not in use, of course it will power off but then we leave you with the art mode so that you're able to enjoy up to 1,400 uh, photos that we have available in our gallery there. Uh, that's a good thing. But then the power consumption while at that level of use is down up to 30%. Uh, our home appliances product, our air conditioning products that are not here, our TV are continually evolving to ensure that we manage the power consumption, which is a critical part to protecting our environment. So that is key for us. Uh, the other bit on the, on the content, uh, which I had, I think is uh, uh, rightly put, uh, there is a concern, definitely, uh, that, for example, you'll get an 8K and you won't have the right uh, content, really, to enjoy that level of screen. Uh, I will tell you this, uh, for the last 16 years that Samsung has stopped the TV industry, uh, we've set trends. So we don't just go for uh, technology that may not stand a chance really going into the future. So if you look backward, right from standard definition to high definition TV, that gradual progress to full high definition to UHD, and now to where we are, mm. is actually Samsung leading the way. Mm. So. Uh, the future is basically where I think our teams really emphasize mm. in picking up. Mm. Okay? We know what is coming up. Uh, nobody knew that uh, 4K technology, for example, will be that widely available when Samsung went ahead and launched those mm. products. Mm. So at the moment, uh, the 8K uh, TV is still, to be honest with you, uh, 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 still really overcoming the challenges around content, but there is rapid progress going on on that. So I won't really uh, tell any of our customers to shy away from picking this unit because there are collaborations that Samsung at a global level is doing with content creators, uh, with movie houses, all right, to provide this content available. You must have realized recently uh, a lot of the major sporting events are really making good attempts at broadcasting in 8K, mm. starting with the Olympics uh, uh, that were held, the last Olympics in Tokyo, mm. all right? There was a lot of 8K broadcasting that went on there. Uh, there was of course then there's of course the World Cup coming up in Qatar yeah, later in November, the year yeah. uh, I'm sure you must have heard there's a lot of talk in terms of 8k content being made available mm. so that essentially tells you that we are ready for the future mm. so you'll have your 8k TV today uh, it will do what it needs to do technologically to ensure that the AI upscaling works to give you something relevant to that level of uh, picture quality mm. but then it is also something that is ready for what is coming up in a future that is not really far from here and considering that a tv's lifespan is not probably a year or two right mm. this is an item that you'll have for in excess of five years mm. uh, the truth of the matter is that before you know it then the content will be largely available even to the level of uh, local uh, and international uh, usual broadcasting mm. yeah Beautiful. so i'll really encourage the customers to to go for it yeah take some of your questions been answered yeah, I believe you've answered uh, even the follow-up that I wanted to, which I'll still ask anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's on support. You say uh, how many years support, for example, in terms of software? Uh, yeah. So uh, there, is a, there is a technology, again, that Samsung only could do. Uh, it should be about three, four years old from now. Mm. Uh, we call it Evolution Kit. Mm. Uh, so you'll pick your TV. But then in case of software upgrade, 
uh, then uh, you simply buy that gadget. You don't do anything to the hardware part, but then the software is upgraded to the latest technology. We no longer have that, but then we have in our smart TVs. If you check from the settings menu part, down uh, on the contact, there is a, there is a bit of uh, something similar to what we have in our mobile phone. So there is the software upgrade that we do remotely. Mm. So this, to a great extent, really tries to bring your TV up to date mm. with some of the latest technologies and developments that we have. Mm. So you really don't have to worry about things moving so fast and leaving you with a, a hardware that is not in any way useful. So uh, we have an online support system that, sub uh, that allows us to do the software upgrade for your TV, mm. uh, something similar to what we're doing with our current uh, Android uh, smartphone, mm. the A-series, and basically the entire range of our smartphones as mm. well. So we have that available for our TVs too. Mm. Right? You have something to add? Yeah, maybe also this would be a good thing for some to talk about the warranty. I mean, if I'm, if I'm spending, for example, yeah. one point something million shillings on this, yeah. you know, this TV, yeah. uh, what, how many months am I covered? I think here we have a sale. Huh? No, where are the Samsung Tech guys? Here we yeah. have a sale. This guy's going to go in the same <laughs> Yeah, this guy must pick a unit today, I think. <laughs> so, uh, we at Samsung, I think, pride ourselves in the level of quality that we offer to our customers. Uh, 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 our return rate uh, probably is the lowest in the market. Uh, but then for the cases where we have a service or technical issue to attend on, we are very, very much ready to do that. Uh, so you have a capable team uh, of uh, service partners spread across major towns in the country to support in case of any eventuality. Uh, but then, as I think one of my colleagues also mentioned, if you're buying a premium product, then we are going one step further to offer the signature service, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll deliver it to you, we will install it for you, mm -hmm. and probably set it up for you, mm -hmm. okay? But then, in terms of warranty, uh, our warranty terms range between one to ten years. So one year for the entry and step up, that's 12 months, mm -hmm. but then for the QLEDs, uh, which I know you are picking, we are offering you two years. Mm. Okay? But if you are thinking the digital appliances products, so which is basically the refrigerator and the washing machine, and also on the REC, we have basically the engine of that equipment. We call it the compressor. Samsung offers 10 years warranty on that. So that alone literally communicates the level of confidence that we have in the quality of the product that we are offering to you. So I don't think there should really be cause for alarm. So takeaway in uh, not so many words 12 months 24 months and 10 years for the compressor for the digital appliances mm. products beautiful and nixon of course if you're buying this tv which i foresee you doing get yourself a home insurance package eh? you have to go the extra step and protect your, your tv um sam i feel like you're really in the hot seat today um please forgive us i have um, one more question to you before we can go to questions uh from the audience um, it was recently reported that taxes and levies on imported phones has increased by 41%. This is on mobile phones. While we move into a land of the Internet of Things, I mean, everyone knows here that we are in the fourth industrial revolution. How is that going to affect consumer electronics? So, uh, for the longest, the mobile phones didn't attract those taxes mm -hmm. that were recently for levied decade, by the government. Actually, yeah. Uh, however, for the consumer electronics, we've always had them. Mm. Uh, we are paying duties, as should be, mm -hmm. other than from markets where uh, Kenya is part of the trading block. Mm. We don't pay duties there. Mm. But basically, the whole array of taxes that the government charges on other products is actually applicable to consumer electronics mm. from way back. Mm. So these recent changes have not affected CE products. However, for the mobile products, there is an impact on that. Mm. Uh, the bit that I think I would wish to emphasize is that this is not for Samsung only. Mm. This is taxes. These are taxes that are going to apply across board mm -hmm. to all the other players mm. in the industry. Mm. So, of course, the impact is prices are likely to go up. Yeah. And they will go up. Yeah. But then while they go up, then your question is how that sits with the convergence with the consumer electronics mm. product. Mm. Uh, I, would, I would say that there are elements of our of our, of our product features mm. that really, you know, uh, taxes going up on one part of you is in no way, my view, really going to affect you trying your best to really keep up with that price and, and allow for you to enjoy 
uh, the, the, the use that you desire, right? Mm. Uh, is, 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 is more or less like saying uh, that uh, I had, you know, if, if you happen to cook, no, you have that slight cut on your finger in the kitchen, mm. then you say because of this, I'm probably not going to shower until it heals, right? Mm. It won't work that way. You'll definitely find a way to go around it. Mm. So taxes going up on mobile phones, uh, of course, is basically going to mean that consumers will spend slightly more mm. uh, to be able to get the mobile phone. Mm. But eventually, I believe they'll still desire to enjoy the convergence that they should receive mm. along with the consumer electronics products. Mm. And here we are talking about smart things, the smart home uh, uh, capabilities that the Samsung range of products mm. offer on this. Mm. I love it. Uh, good job. Uh, guys, a round of applause to our panelists. I think they have done very, very well. I want someone to assist me uh, rove the mic. If anybody has questions for the panelists, this is the best time to do so. Remember, we're speaking to Dixon, Nixon, and Sam. Anybody has any questions for the panelists before I ask you my questions that are going to be able to warrant you to win some merchandise? You know, when uh, there's no questions, you, you get worried. How, did you guys understand? Or did you do such a good job, Sam? What do you think? Dixon, what do you think? <laughs> oh, there's one question here. Can we get a roving mic, please, so that everybody can hear the question? Or you can use this. Thank you so much. Tell us who, your name, what you do, and shoot. Okay. My name is Daniel, New Strengths KE, a blogger. Question. How much will it cost me to repair the screen should it go out? Then secondly, maybe for Nick and Dixon, do you consider uh, gadget interconnectability in your house when purchasing, making your purchasing choices? Beautiful. Beautiful question. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, I'm not an expert really in parts pricing, uh, but I will tell you for free that the TV as you know it, the screen is basically the major component of that product. So then that follows that the screen of all the parts that form a TV is the most expensive it's right uh, I, will, I will be careful really not to mislead you but I think it will be anywhere in the range of screen price should be anywhere around half the price of the unit okay Thank you so, much for that. so again it will come down to the circumstances under which that screen had issue if uh, it is anything that doesn't have to do with you then the warranty bit that we are discussing about should really kick in. But unfortunately, if it is something, maybe somebody at home unknowingly or whatever knocks it down, then we can always discuss on how best to support to have that screen replaced for you. Okay? Thank you very much for mentioning that. that pairing that would be 50% of the product price. So that means then this TV would go for recycling, right? Or you'll take it, how, how is your recycling policies and how do you ensure that this product comes out of me and do I get some refund for bringing this for you to recycle, like the way car batteries are recycled? So, uh, so currently, um, your question is basically around trading, okay? If I heard you correctly. So if, let's give an example, your screen breaks, okay? Uh, you really don't have to straight away figure out how to load it onto your, onto your truck or whatever to bring it to our service center. Make a call, 0800-545-545 is our toll-free number for service. Uh, explain the issue. Uh, definitely, if it is what we have displayed here, somebody will need to attend to you at home. You don't really have to bother bringing it over. So we have in-home service. Uh, available for it but then in the event that we establish that the screen which is the panel in this case needs to be replaced of course we'll replace with a new one but take back the earlier screen right the broken one for uh, uh, the approved way of disposing electronic equipment right but for consumer electronics at the moment in Kenya we don't offer trading services unfortunately so we are not able to take it at a lesser price and probably allow you to top up to pick another unit. We don't have that service currently available uh, in our market for consumer electronics product. But we should be able to handle the bit that is broken and find a better way to dispose it at your convenience without really going through the, the, the task of running around trying to deliver it to a service center. Mm. Fair enough? Yeah. Thank you.
Um, he had asked yeah. a question no, on questions connectivity. For, yeah, exactly. uh, I think uh, that's an important part because uh, if you're running a home, you have a smart doorbell, you have smart lights, you have uh, smart speakers and all that. Uh, I haven't seen Samsung do a lot in the same way in terms of their smart things, uh, which I hope they do. But personally for me, getting a TV or getting a home appliance, I have to check that it communicates with other devices in the house. Yeah. So I would like to know what sort of interconnectivity, based on that, you have for the new lineup. Internet of Things, Sam, um, tell us. Yeah, so basically where the future is. So Samsung was here barely three years ago. Uh, the Internet of Things, the connectivity. Uh, our preferred mode of communication now is what we call smart things and smart home. Mm -hmm. So the ability of the uh, uh, smart devices to really communicate and talk with other devices. Mm -hmm. uh, the good news here is as long as your device is smart things enabled, it doesn't need to be a Samsung specific. Uh, and you have a Samsung uh, uh, device, a TV, or even a washing machine in this case, then that communication is really enhanced. So Samsung has allowed for the ability of our smart devices to communicate outside the Samsung platform as long as they have that smart things enabled capacity that then definitely should happen. Mm. So we, 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 we are not trying to be selfish, right? Mm. We are just trying to offer the lead and allow everybody else that uh, feels that this is the future to join us so that we walk this path together while uh, we essentially uh, offer the best that we can to to our customers. So people might be missing out on that because they don't have the smart things app. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Smart things app I think is there. If you have a Samsung phone, go to your app, app store and just download it right away. Mm. Uh, you pick uh, an item that is smart things like that washing machine over there. Mm. Is there enabled it has smart things capacities. You shall be able to control your washing cycles and all that using your phone. And that of course applies to uh, uh, to other uh, uh, devices as well like the like the TVs. Mm. Right. Nixon, do you have anything? Yeah, let me just try to respond to you know the question he asked yeah. about, you know, yeah. uh, you know, if you're in our space, for example, get really intrigued with you know technology and all this kind of interesting stuff. Of course when you're buying a particular device, you know, uh, if you get a chance to even just visit some of us, you'll see we try to make sure we control things from our phones, including switching off our lights. You know, doing all those interesting things you can do. So, really, when you're purchasing a device, for example, Samsung TV, mm. you need to check is it compatible, for example, for the S I'm doing. I'm able to control everything in my house from just my mobile device. So, again, I really consider that, you know, the very important thing to consider. Again, as Sam said, it's the future. You know, AI, we are moving there. Speech recognition and all those interesting things you need to know. So, it's a really interesting thing to consider, actually, when purchasing, you know, a particular device. So, Nixon, back to you. I spoke to you earlier and I told you I'm not an avid techie. Yes, I deal with Samsung, but I come from a point of softer power as a lady and mm -hmm. as um, um, someone who consumes fe benefits more than features. Mm -hmm. Is Kenya there or are you speaking as a techie in terms no. of interconnectivity like that? Kenya is actually there because yeah. we, have, uh, we have, you know, if you read, we get covered a lot you know, across publications globally, you know, mm -hmm. how our connection is actually the strongest across other, you know, countries in Africa. So we just need to get advantage of what we have right now. But we are there. We just need, you know, to get support, for example, from, you know, brands, you mm -hmm. know, the way Dixon was talking about Samsung, you know, with the Smart Things app, mm -hmm. bringing a lot of home, home, smart home devices in the mm -hmm. market. Mm -hmm. But we are there. We just need to take advantage of what we have to actually make sure we actually now reach where you want to be. I like that. It goes back to uh, uh, more with Samsung, yes. with our interconnectivity. Um, I've seen you raising your hand. You have a question. So, hi. My hi. name is Nancy Nzau from the Standard Media Group. Um, I have a question. You brought something up about the screen. And uh, I have, I'm sorry, I'll have to ask about the phone. Because uh, I agree that the monitor is, the display is the most important part of the TV or even the phone. But then again, I feel like, I'm sorry, other competitors have solutions to maybe providing cheaper screen replacements for the phone. But still, Samsung is quite expensive. Like, it's usually half the price of the entire phone. Yeah, so um, anything on that? Thank you. Uh, again, uh, I think I will emphasize, uh, I, I, I feel you, uh, and Samsung is very much aware of this scenario. So there is a whole lot of things going on in the background to try and correct this situation. Uh, I, sorry? 
fine i won't really have the finer details of why this is the case but then considering the technology that samsung offers and the panel you know panel is just not your usual glass there are qualities to that okay and that of course is why you will say this phone is taking better pictures all right why you'll say this phone has a better touch all right why this phone is basically premium than the others right so that then communicates to what is the quality of the panel in each of those cases so samsung of course panel is top grade in that case that has a part to play in the pricing but then uh we shouldn't just sit pretty and say we are offering the best panel so it needs to be expensive right so that's the bit i'm saying i think there's a whole lot of work going on in the background to try and manage that panel pricing so that in case of replacement then the consumer really doesn't have to to feel as much pinch and that i know applies to the mobile phones and also to the tvs as well so probably it's just a matter of time i think there should be uh, some progress on this to to the consumer to to make this uh, something bearable yeah sure yeah. how i wish you don't break yours really <laughs> there's a value to being number one especially on tvs um any other questions especially particular to the lineup today because we're doing consumer electronics you snuck that one in it's okay any other questions are we good okay fantastic so um should we do the giveaways now for the um the questions from the panel so guys can i have someone with a roving mic for your opportunity for an opportunity to win some nice merchandise from samsung i want someone to tell me the four things that sam mentioned that is different from the 2021 and 2022 tv lineup he mentioned four things for your chance to win merchandise from samsung who can answer that question for me i want to see if you're paying attention sam mentioned four things that were different between the 2021 qled lineup and the 2022 qled lineup it means you guys are not paying attention hmm ah. should i pick someone should i walk around and pick someone should i pick you <laughs> oh yeah you want to answer try try your best let's see uh, one one is okay i know that it's more environmentally friendly and then also you've you you you've focused to solve uh, the user's experience like giving them uh, giving them options in terms of the colors for their for their kitchen yeah so that's customize customizing more customizable um yeah yeah I only have that. so you added the fridge there i don't know sam should we give her <laughs> no yeah it was the question was four things he mentioned about the tv what was different between the 2021 and 2022 lineup of the tv yeah i think just because you really thought and i can see you really thinking i think irene will just we'll just give her because i also liked her question but the answer was design color aesthetic terms of the infinity screen and eco-friendliness of the tvs i want everybody to be able to leave um this session knowing that um my other question who was paying attention to nixon's favorite product this is nixon right here who was paying attention to nixon's favorite product yeah he likes big tvs which one in particular did he mention and even pointed at it yeah. The 1.2 million. Ah, <laughs> new is that QLED. what we're going to leave here knowing, guys? Call it the Neo QLED 8K TV, 85 inches. Good job. So you get something. And for my final question, and also for my people watching on YouTube, by the way, you'll be able to win some merchandise after this if you watch this video thereafter. So for my final question, what did Dixon ask? <laughs> uh, not you, Dixon. You, I'll get you merchandise. There was one particular question that Dixon asked Sam. What did Dixon ask? Who was paying attention? Yeah. Compatibility with other devices in the house when you're buying them. How compatible are they with existing devices? That's very good. That's one of the many questions Dixon asked. Congratulations. I love it. You get to win some Samsung merchandise. Um, you can probably get it from the registration desk there after. Are we going to give them now? Ah, fantastic. We can give them now. Um, Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. What would you like everybody leaving this session to remember? We can start with you, uh, Bona Nixon. Uh, for me, it's um, for you to remember that actually Samsung is really doing a great job with, uh, with their TVs. 
um, and um, one thing I'll want, even if you go to the disc, to the to the uh, uh, to the shop, try checking out the sound. Especially, there's something sometimes called the object tracking that I really love on the TV. So you're able to follow, you know, uh, when, when the person is talking on TV. So just check the TVs, check the specs. Try, you know, I saw a PS here. You can play a game or something. But that's one thing to remember is actually the TV. Uh, you know, if you have some one point two many million to spend. Maybe consider buying one. You know there are TVs that are worth 100 um, and something K. Like the frame right there was worth 280 Gs. Let's not linger on the million, Bob. Eh? Although it's good to encourage people to work hard and be able to afford. Sam, what would you want us to remember from this session today? So uh, I think my message will be Samsung cares uh, for everybody. It doesn't matter how deep the pocket is. And right where we are, uh, to my right, uh, we are at our showroom that has the entire range of those product offerings. So I will really encourage everybody to not just believe what we said, but just pass in there, have a look, actually buy. If you can't today, come back tomorrow or by weekend and pick an item that suits you so that you enjoy all our offerings on the home appliances categories and also on the visual display category, which has our TVs. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Dixon, your parting shot, please. What I like about technology and why I write about technology is that uh, such good uh, improvements in everything always trickle down. So uh, whenever there's something big, something new, uh, give it a couple of years and there'll be competition, there'll be new advances that will make it affordable. And I'm looking forward to a time when everyone will be enjoying an 8K TV at home. Uh, 1.2 million is still quite on the high side, but over time you're going to see all this trickle down to affordability and to making everyone enjoy technology as it should be. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Visionary. A round of applause to our panelists. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for this event. I know you've been standing. I know you're tired. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, uh, members of the media, if you want to take photos, you'll be able to do that after this. If you have any more questions, Sam is available. So are our master trainers. If you have any questions uh, for Irene as well, who's in marketing, feel free. Remember, the shop is right there. Go in. You are what you negotiate. You might be able to negotiate the price of some of these items. Uh, until I see you guys next time, thank you so much for coming. All right. In darkness, keep your light on through the shadows. In darkness